25 ways to make money with Jasper Art. That's what we're talking about today. And we're just going to dive right in. If you don't have Jasper Art yet, the link is below. I also have an art guide on my blog that will show you exactly how to use Jasper Art. There is such a low, low, low learning curve. You guys are not gonna have any problems with this. This is not like writing with Jasper. This is literally typing a few words in and Jasper spits out beautiful images. So let's get started. This is my blog post, it'll be linked below. We're just gonna walk through it and I'm gonna show you as we are going how you can create these things. First way to make money is to create a children's book. You can write and illustrate the children's book and this seven-year-old wrote a children's book, published it on Amazon and it's already made dozens of sales. The book is called Jimmy's Jungle Adventure, and this kiddo is named Devin Young. He's a seven-year-old who wanted to write a story, and his mom, Chrissy, was like, heck yeah, let's teach this kid some entrepreneurial skills, right? So this kid already has a book published at seven years old. It's sold dozens of copies. Super awesome. Uh, you can see it actually right here on Amazon. I'll remember to link that below. And I'm buying it. It's in my cart. I'm going to check it out today and I'm excited to get it. One of the questions that's always asked about Jasper Art so far anyway, it's brand new, is what about the quality? Can I print this stuff? And I asked uh, Devin's mom specifically, hey, did you have any print quality issues? She said that at first, a few of the images were a little pixelated or blurry, so she used a free image upscaler and everything was fine. They ordered the book and the quality is great. The second way we can make money with Jasper Art is by creating greeting cards. This can be digital downloads or you can send them to a printer and actually have them mailed out to the recipient. But some of these designs are super simple. This is a watercolor floral, and we have a cake that looks like a watercolor with some candles on top. There's some landscapes. These are all star sellers, best sellers, thousands of reviews. You can pull this info up on Alora as well and see how much these listings have made. We're gonna do that for some of the other ideas. But with greeting cards, there are so many options. I had one pulled up earlier that was a personalized greeting card. It sold more than 6,000 times. And when I calculated how much money that was, the seller had gotten $2,500 in revenue from one listing. Greeting cards can be used for so many occasions and they don't have to have words. Like look at these hummingbirds right here. Super cute, right? Greeting cards can match any theme, any design, any style, holidays, events. Uh, they can just be because, just because greeting cards, right? It doesn't matter what it is. What matters is there are buyers looking for cards all the time. Number three, the third way we're going to make money with Jasper Art is by designing book covers. And you can always take it a step further and actually write the book with Jasper as well. But I looked up some romance novels on Amazon and Jasper can most definitely create these covers. You can use an image upscaler to make sure that it's print quality. And if you want to add text, then I would recommend using Canva for that. But I was looking through these and one stood out to me, where the forest meets the stars. So I went over to Jasper and I just typed in where the forest meets the stars and look at what I got. That is a perfect book cover. Do you see? It's sold. There's 34,000 reviews on this book and the cover you could recreate just like this. Don't worry about being perfect. Just look at things for inspiration and then pop some words into Jasper. It's so easy to get lots of options. Like this one gave me four options. That's just the one I favored. But there's all kinds of ways that you can create images that you will like and you can use to make money. Number four is wall art. And this is actually going to be broken into a few different 
sections because there are so many different ways to do wall art. You can do themes, minimalist, watercolor, botanical. You can do it by room. Do you know how many people hang up signs in their laundry room and mud room? I didn't even know that was a thing, but they do. Laundry rooms have signs now, you guys. So create the wall art for whoever the heck is putting signs in their laundry room. They're putting signs in their kitchen. I put signs in my office. So think of it theme, style. Think of it as who are you serving? Think of it as room by room by room. You could do nursery prints, all kinds of stuff, right? Real quick, you can see this watercolor botanical print set of three has brought in more than $49,000 for the seller. It consistently brings in more than $2,000 in monthly revenue. These are all things you can create. Look at how simple those designs are. Uh, this tool is called Allura. I'll go ahead and link it below if you want. I put in pastel watercolors, botanical herbs, minimalist, and look at how cute these designs are. All of these could be worked on to become wall art or prints. Number five is a nursery print. This Safari nursery print set of six has brought in more than $400 thousand dollars in total revenue for this person now these are printed and shipped to them i don't know how this seller does it you can do it print on demand and make it just hands off for four hundred thousand dollars i feel like you can figure out a plan and execute that plan to make those sales right four hundred thousand dollars and this is a very simple set to create wall art and sell it on Etsy or your own site anywhere, it doesn't take a whole lot of skill, especially if you use Jasper. For this output, I put in watercolor, baby elephant, in jungle, close up. Look at the beauty that Jasper has created. I love elephants, so maybe it's just me, but that is absolutely awesome. A little issue with the trunk there we could uh definitely fix that but this one is perfect i would just upscale this and then use it as a wall art print and you can sell the prints they don't all have to be you know eight and a half by eleven eight by ten etc you can sell uh nine by nine eight by eight look up frame sizes and find the square ones and then just sell them in sets of three or six or whatever so people can see them in your mock-ups and they see oh those are square but they'll fit perfectly in my space number six is wedding prints now this could get a little more advanced but i know you can do it jasper can definitely help you create art like this watercolor portrait that has generated nearly twenty thousand dollars for this artist do you see how simple this is now, I went over to Jasper and I put in romantic wedding on beach, overlooking ocean, watercolor, blonde woman, brown haired man, far away shot. And I got some pretty great results. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. You can recreate wedding photos. You'll need to be a little more specific. You'll have to see the wedding photo, right? But you can recreate wedding photos, probably any kind of photo, travel, vacation, graduation, uh, baby shower. Like, there's so many things. My head is absolutely spinning. But number six is wedding prints. Number seven, probably one of my favorites ever, maybe just because I picked a pit bull for this. But you can create pet prints like this simple pit bull on the beach. It has generated nearly $400, and again, this is just one listing. Most successful Etsy shops have more than 100 listings. There are exceptions to this rule, but over the years, the most successful shops I've seen have 100 plus listings. So if you have 100 plus listings, and even 10 of them are generating this $379, that's nearly $4,000 from creating art on Jasper to making thousands of dollars on Etsy, what in the world is going on? I can't, this is, this is unreal. And look at how cute this is, you guys. I put in watercolor pitbull on the beach, 
friendly. That's important. If you are making pit bulls, make sure you put friendly. You don't want mean looking pit bulls out in the world. We know that they're not mean. They're lovers, not fighters. Happy, realistic, by the ocean. And oh my goodness, I could see this working as a calendar cover. If you're going to do a pit bull watercolor calendar, um, send me the link. I'll probably buy it because this is adorable. Uh, and you guys know I'm not going to take the time to make all of these ideas I came up with. That's why I made this video. So you guys can make them. You can make the money. I'll come and buy them. Next on this list is infographics. So if you go to my blog, I have a black owned Etsy list. Uh, and you go down here, right here. If you go to this black owned Etsy directory or business directory, because now it's not, it's more than Etsy. All right. If you look at this infographic on the right, you can see every single image that I used was created by Jasper. So I opened this infographic template inside of Canva, and then I added my own photos that Jasper had created. The ninth way to make money with Jasper art is with print on demand. And honestly, there's so much here. I could do an entire video on print on demand because there's so much to learn. And whenever we pull this up in Etsy and we check Allura, you can see it's made more than $3,411 and the mock-up is spelled wrong. I feel like it's a good opportunity to look through and see what other people are offering. This was not created by Jasper. This was actually a clip art set from probably Creative Fabrica, Creative Market, something like that. And that's where they have all of the different options. And then you're just putting them together on a mug or t-shirt or whatever. And then you're selling it. With print on demand, you aren't making this full amount. So that's something to keep in mind. But even if you only make a few bucks per sale and you have 22,000 sales, guess what? That's a lot of money. Number 10 on the list to make money with Jasper Art is coloring pages and coloring books. You guys, I know that you think, oh, it's already been done. There's already coloring pages. There's already so many coloring pages. There's so many coloring books. Y'all listen. This book has 5,003 ratings. So it depends on who you listen to, but the amount of people who buy versus leave a review is usually around 10%. I've seen anywhere from 5 to 20%, but just for simplicity's sake, let's go with 10%. So this has 5,000 ratings. If that's only 10% of the people who have bought, then that means 50,000 thousand people bought this seriously this is insane fifty thousand even if we were doing it generously and saying fifty percent of the people left a review which probably isn't possible but hey let's roll with it that's five thousand ratings that means ten thousand people bought it and it's six dollars six dollars times ten thousand people is sixty thousand dollars even if they only made $1 per sale from this coloring book, which it's probably more, but let's just say a dollar and 10,000 people bought it, that's $10,000. Did I do that math right? I feel like there's no way this can be a thing. Okay, look at how simple these images are too. Jasper can create these. I made some little coloring sheets here. Very quick input. I put coloring page of a tree and that's what it came up with. Can you imagine if you dance with Jasper a little bit and finesse your input, how awesome it could be? Remember, you can sell coloring books on your own blog, on Etsy, wherever you want to, but also on Amazon KDP. So this has made tens of thousands of sales and with KDP, just like with Etsy and your own blog, you make it one time and you sell it over and over and over again. Now that is passive income. Number 11 is stickers. I've always been obsessed with stickers, but now it seems like everyone's kind of catching up to my weird obsession and now it's cool, which is amazing. I'd love it when that happens. You can create digital stickers for planners and this seller has, let's see, a ton of botanical stickers. 
Owl Spirit Studio has sold 188 of these, bringing in nearly $3,000 in revenue. Now, this is not something you're going to put together in a flash. There are so many stickers here, but this just shows you things that you can do with Jasper Art. You can create these, and there's also uh, public domain images that look like a lot of these pieces of artwork, and you can use those as well. Combine the resources you have. I thought it would be fun real quick to make a colorful sticker and order it and then show you guys what it looks like when it shows up. I'm going to post about it in sadiesmiley.com forward slash pips, P-I-P-S. That's my free Facebook group. So whenever these stickers come in, I'm going to post them. You can go in there and see it. But first, I put in my description and made a pit bull with big ears. I chose this design and I'm going to bring it over here to an image upscaler. I don't have a preference on the image upscaler. They all do pretty much the same thing. I like free. So if I run out of freebies on one site, I just go to another. This is going to four times the image resolution. After the image upscaler has done its job, we come over to stickermule.com or any sticker site. I'm not, I don't have a preference. I do love sticker mule, but they're expensive. I'm just coming over here to order samples. So I'm going to click on die cut stickers and then order samples. You can order 10 custom stickers for $9 shipped to you. You get to decide on the size. If you increase the size, the price will go up. We're going to make these three inch stickers. Choose your file. Make sure you choose the one that was upscaled, even if you don't see a difference. You can leave instructions to prepare your proof, which we do not have to do. I don't need any instructions. And then we will finish the checkout process. After you put your information in and you check out, you're going to get an order confirmation. This says these are going to be here in just a few weeks. So remember to check into the group to see them. Next, number 12 is educational worksheets. Now you can sell educational worksheets on your own blog on Etsy, on Teachers Pay Teachers. And what I love about this is that you create one product and list it across several platforms and you have instantly created multiple streams of passive income for yourself instantly. That's amazing. Now, it's not that easy. You do need to build these stores up. I'm not telling you that you list one educational resource and you're going to retire to Tahiti. However, this is a great way to duplicate your efforts without having to put in too much extra time or effort. Number 13 on the list of ways to make money using Jasper Art is to create meditation videos. I created these pretty backgrounds using Jasper, and if I wanted to turn these into meditation videos, I would add a soft soundtrack, maybe some ocean waves, or over here on the left, there's a river. Maybe I will make it sound like a babbling brook. And then I'm going to do a voiceover, and people can buy these as end users, or you can sell these as PLR to other people who want to create meditation videos. You create the artwork, you overlay the audio, and then you can use Jasper, the AI writing side, to create meditation scripts. And yes, Jasper actually does a wonderful job creating meditation scripts. I've tried it out. You can then sell these as a package with or without the audio. Your people can buy them and they can voice over with their own voices. And sometimes people think, that's really simple. Why would anyone buy this? And... Honestly, there are some people who just are not going to want to create the backgrounds. There are some people who don't want to have to find the perfect audio. There are some people who don't want to have to do the voiceover. So you can hit any of those target markets with this type of package. Number 14 is tarot or oracle card decks, or you could even do an affirmation or manifestation deck, any type of deck of cards. I looked on Etsy and found some decks that I feel Jasper Art could help create. Now this isn't going to be a one step process because you do want to have text. That's something I would use Canva for. You can also just create the art, remove the background, and then have a template like this old school 
scroll looking template that you can attach those images to without the backgrounds. This is a beautiful deck. I think I actually am going to have to buy it. Uh, look here. I'm surprised I haven't seen it yet. This tarot card deck has brought in more than $2,071,000 in revenue for this seller. If you look at this deck, also a simple design. I do believe Jasper Art can create something like this. Has brought in nearly $18,000 in revenue. And last but not least, this really cool neon deck that I think Jasper could also help with has brought in nearly $10,000 in revenue for this seller. These are single listings. Imagine having 10, 20, 30 listings that are performing this well. Jasper Art makes it possible. You front load the work, you put the hours in now, and next year, what you do today is what is going to be paying your bills. That's what passive income is all about. Number 15 is comic books. I am not a huge comic book fan, so I didn't even try this one out, but my husband is, and he's confident that you can create a comic book using Jasper. Number 16 is logos. Now, I wouldn't create an actual logo using Jasper art, but I would use it for inspiration. So I would go into Jasper and get some inspiration, pull that image over to Procreate, and trace and expand on that image. Number 17 is virtual backgrounds. Everyone is online these days. My kids are doing Zoom school. I'm having meetings all the time on Zoom, on Zoom, on Zoom. You can use these on Skype, Facebook, Microsoft Teams, etc. But I looked up Zoom room backgrounds and found some really awesome inspiration. You can do a minimalist office. You know, look at my background. People don't want a background that's like, real my my kitchen that's you know just a lived-in kitchen but people don't like that they don't want to use those so they are buying backdrops and backgrounds for their zoom meetings here are two virtual backgrounds i quickly created using jasper art along with the exact inputs i use as captions these outputs aren't perfect, but it gives you an idea of what can be created. And if you go over to Etsy, you will see that Zoom and virtual backgrounds are selling. I like this one that has a bookcase and a view. That would be a challenge to create in Jasper, but I think it would be fun. You can go through and look by theme, by topic, by style, beach, living room. I already have a beach living room. I just need to turn the camera. But if you want to pretend that you're on the beach whenever you're in your Zoom calls, I totally don't blame you for that. And these are not selling like thousands and thousands and thousands. However, I have students who are selling Zoom backgrounds and have made a substantial amount of income from them. All right, these Zoom backgrounds are sold for $5, and there are five backgrounds. You can create five backgrounds using Jasper rather quickly. I noticed that this shop has things other than Zoom backgrounds, so this is kind of a bonus. I love this shop, and it gave me so many ideas. You can pull up a house in any area on Zillow.com. For example, this is a beach bungalow in Hawaii. Pull it up and then describe it to Jasper and have Jasper create a beach Hawaiian bungalow. And then you can sell it as an art print, as a greeting card. You can put it on a calendar. You can put it on a planner. There's so many things you can do, right? I hopped over to Jasper real quick, typed in beach bungalow along with a few other words, and look at what Jasper created. This is without me getting specific. This is without me looking up a house. And Jasper is absolutely killing it. I am in love. And this was extra. This one is not on the list, but do it. Pick a location and watercolor some houses or do a different medium. If you want a completely different look, get rid of the watercolor as far as the medium goes. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. I want this. I'm, I'm downloading this. I want this as a print. How cool is this? You guys, I'm so excited. All right, let's keep going. Number 18 is backdrops for videos. I had so much fun the other night putting all of these inputs into Jasper. I probably made about 50 
mushroom fairy houses in the style of Thomas Kincaid. I don't know if I should admit that, but I did. I, I spent so long. And Jasper Art works really well on mobile. So if you're laying in bed and instead of doom scrolling Facebook, you want to create art, you totally can. All of these pretty much were created on mobile. Now, backdrops for videos, I wasn't really sure because I don't use backdrops, but in the Jasper group, there is a teacher. She's a preschool teacher. She has like an online preschool YouTube and she has created these beautiful, wonderful scenes and then inserted herself into them using Jasper art. The scene is from Jasper art and she uses that as like the green screen background and then she dances around and does her thing. She had a cute gingerbread house and just all kinds of different options. And she said it has literally changed her business. You guys, if you have videos you're making and you can create backdrops like this for them and it makes sense, I could see this going really far and making you a lot of money. Number 19 is calendars. And I'm not gonna scroll down because I want you to see these images while I'm talking about calendars because you can create images like these and use them on a calendar. You can also do cats or dogs or oceans or a town. If you look up, like I was showing you with the Hawaii houses, if you want to look up Sedona, Arizona, like a very small little area, but you know a lot of people come to it, a Sedona, Arizona calendar would sell well if you have an Arizona site or if you talk about traveling to Arizona. I do have a post about how to create and sell calendars on Etsy, so make sure you check that out. And you'll see it's really easy to do. Really easy to do. Number 20 is bookmarks. I've already created a video tutorial on how to make digital bookmarks. They are best sellers, and my Etsy students literally all make money selling digital bookmarks. When they first get into my class, they're like, you want us to make what? and you want us to list it and it's gonna sell. And almost everyone, I would say at least 80% of my students, their first sale is digital bookmarks. People love digital bookmarks for some reason, and they're so easy to create. Just create a two inch by six inch canvas over on Canva and then drag and drop your Jasper art. You could make like 100 bookmarks in a day and then spend the rest of the week mocking them up and uploading them onto Etsy, maybe in sets of six or 10. So if you do it in a set of 10, then you have 10 sets of 10 by the end of the week. Rinse and repeat that process and you're going to have hundreds of bookmarks to sell by the end of the month. Number 21 is actually something I came across by accident. I was creating another image. I just used the like surprise me button. They change the, the name every single day that I'm on this, but they have like YOLO, free cake, surprise me, let's get weird. Their little button on the free form. Let me show you. YOLO. And then it comes up with something based on that input from Jasper and it's completely random. Well, when I was doing this, I pressed that button and these abstract birds showed up and I was like, that is, that is really interesting. And I started looking it up on Etsy and remembered, hello, people sell digital art patterns and digital backgrounds all the time. If you go over to Etsy, you can see there are so many different types of digital backgrounds that you could create and sell. For example, these white backdrops have sold 15 times and have brought in $195 in revenue. These newborn digital backdrops, which are like landscaping backdrops, have sold 95 times and brought in $3,705 in revenue. These are just simple texture floral overlays and it's a three pack. It's brought in nearly $2,000 in revenue. And last but not least, we'll do one more because I know Jasper could make these really well. This has brought in $434 in revenue. And that might not seem like a lot compared to some of the others, but if I told you I would pay you $434 to make me some backdrops using Jasper, wouldn't you say heck yes? I know that I would. You do need to make sure these are high quality because people are using them for design purposes. You don't want to skimp on any of these designs, upscale them, but you want to make sure that anything you're selling to digital creators is especially on point because they're going to notice mistakes that you make. 
my daughter sapphire inspired number 22 which is digital interior design she would love to be an interior designer but those 3d programs are so expensive so we have not bought one for her yet however she can sit down and basically just talk to jasper and tell jasper this is what i want the room to look like and then jasper will create it i have found you do need to be very specific because jasper left up to his own devices is a little messy but if you get really specific you will have some amazing digital interior design outputs to use Number 23, replacing stock photos. Holy moly, you guys. This right here, just this one, is a total game changer. Google has the new helpful content update. They keep telling us they want original, original, original. They mean photos too. So if you're using stock photos on your website, swap them out for art created by Jasper. This is original. Nobody else is going to put in the same exact input. And even if they do, the same thing does not come out. Let me show you. For example, let's clear this input. Using our Hawaiian bungalow example from earlier, I put in colorful Hawaiian bungalow on the beach watercolor. This is the output it gave me. Now say someone else watches this video, likes the outputs, and puts the same exact thing in. Pay attention. Those are completely different outputs, and you can do it over and over again, and you're not going to get the same thing, so don't worry about that. Number 24 is a bit controversial, apparently, because some lady in the Jasper group about cussed me out over it, but I'm telling you 25 ways to make money with Jasper art, and this is one of them. You can create a recipe blog or even a cookbook, and if you are opposed to using photos like this, which look like real food to me, and I would use them, you can use illustrations. So if you don't find that the stock photos are what you want to do, just put in that you want an illustration. I love this idea so much that I have an entire blog post dedicated to it over on plrforblogs.com. I'll leave the link below so you can check it out if you're interested in creating recipes and recipe posts and cookbooks using Jasper Art. Last but not least, another one of my absolute favorites, number 25, you can make a ton of money building niche websites and blogs using Jasper. I am super thankful for Jasper for making this so accessible for everyone. As someone who lives with chronic illness, having to do all of the work all of the time is exhausting. Jasper does most of the heavy lifting and it has made it to where I can still create, even on the bad days. It has made it to where other people can still create, even on the bad days. And that gives us our life back, you guys. Chronic illness takes so much. I am thankful for Jasper for helping us get this part of our life back to where creation can be fun again. I have a course coming out next year about how to build niche websites, so just keep an eye on that. I know that seems like a long time away, but I promise you it will be worth the wait. It's going to be available in my VIP membership, so if you're not a VIP yet, go on, hop over there and join. I am opening up VIP to everyone. It's not closed anymore. You are welcome. I'm inviting you right now. Come join me. But you can use Jasper to write your blog posts for niche websites and create the art and create the digital products that you're going to be selling and, and, and. You can use it for social media images, for your newsletter images. If you create a style and just kind of go with it throughout, your blog is going to look so cool because it's got original art. Nobody else has those designs. That was 25 ideas on how to make money with Jasper. If this video gave you any inspiration, I would love to hear your ideas on how to make money with Jasper below because I'm always looking for ideas to add to my arsenal. All right, so the only thing left to do is to go do the thing. Sign up for Jasper, try out Jasper art, and show me what you've created. Head over to sadiesmiley.com forward slash pips. Join me in my Facebook group and show off what you've created with Jasper Art. I can't wait to see how you're making money with it.